I literally had someone on the street like just read me for what I was worth and she's just like, you know, you're different, but I feel like you know you're different and I want you to keep being that person. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> you get it. I've been photographing a majority of my life. I got into photography solely as a means of making a painting without having to spend a week or a week plus working on one specific piece. To me, what makes a good photo is kind of a balance in between intention and just knowing when it makes sense to hit the shutter. It's never actually been about the equipment and more so just that decisive moment and that can be captured with just about anything. Typical photo shoot, it's usually just me pushing through the hoops of trying to get as much alone time with the subject as possible. I'm not interested in, you know, the image that people try to convey to me because usually it's not true to life. I wait for that moment when the persona or the facade fades and then that's when I take the photo. It's like, I see you. And that's like what I'm looking for. <laughs> a lot of the times when I'm coming up with ideas, it will initially start with music. I might just be sitting in the morning with a cup of coffee and I'm just listening to a song and it sparks a thought. And then I conceptualize it. Like how can I make this thing not so literal, but more symbolic? And I just go from there. My work did change a bit when I became a dad. There's a lot more attention paid to like small moments. There's a photograph that I love a lot that's just my kids sitting at the table eating waffles and this was during COVID. And it ended up probably one of my strongest photos I've ever taken. But now I get to actually show people what that time period looked like for me and my kids. Skateboarding, it's like my world. That was the first hobby that turned passion. And I think it had a lot to do with the fact that like, the craft lends itself to just individuality. I might look at a curb and think like, dude, it's just a curb. But then someone else might approach that same curb and they're doing things that I can't do. And that's how photography is. Like it hones in on that fact that like, everyone's gonna see reality in a slightly different way. The music video I just directed was different from like a normal photo shoot. Trying to get these moving photos to like work in the same way that they do in your head is always gonna be a challenge. But I think just the fact that I was able to take what I was given and make it feel like my photo work kind of just, you know, shows that there's definitely room for both of those things to kind of coexist. Where I would like to see my career go from here is just me make work that feels like my personal work, but something that I can do for other people. Bring others into this world that I've created around my photography. I've always kind of looked at it as somewhat of like an old master's approach. Elevated work and maybe me just at the forefront of that. <laughs>